Hey everybody, Mr. Clayton here and I'm here today with Miss Abby. We're going to go ahead and take you guys to a social distance drill that is working with the basic skills curriculum for the skill memory. Now, the name of this game is called Math Whiz and you won't need any equipment for this drill. What we're going to be doing in this one is we're going to have the students go ahead and start in their designated area with their hands up. When the instructor says go, all of the students are going to start doing front kicks, hitting the air with, in front of them. Now, the fun part in this game is as the students are kicking, the instructor is going to start calling out basic math problems like 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 1 plus 4, easy stuff like that. But in this drill, the first student that can give the correct answer out of all the students is going to earn one point. For this one, we could do maybe five math problems on round one, and then at the end we'll see which person has the most points, and they will be our winner. The goal for this game is really to start to have the students build up that reactive and working memory as they're going through this drill to help them start to solve these math problems. So, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, Miss Abby, we have her set in her position. She's ready to go, so when I say it goes, she's going to start to kick. Ready, and go. Nice job. How about two plus two? Four. What about three plus three? Six. Five plus five? Ten. Three plus two? Five. One plus one? Two. And time. And that's exactly what this drill should look like from here. You saw that Miss Abby was really fast at being able to answer those math problems, but again, she's definitely a lot older than your five and six year olds. So expect them to take a little bit more time to have to figure it out. Their brains are definitely going to have to put the pieces together a little bit more, and it could be a little bit more of a challenge. But great job, Miss Abby. Three takeaways for this game. First off, guys, you want to make sure that your students are thinking about the math problems uh, before they say them. If they go ahead and just blurt them out, they may get the wrong answer. So they want to do their best to think about it before they do it. Second thing is they want to make sure that they're moving fast. So that way as they're doing this, they're getting really fast kicks and getting stronger as they do it. And the third and final takeaway for this one is to show great technique. Again, even though we are focusing on their ability to get those math problems, if they look sloppy with their kicks, it's definitely not going to help them. So we want to make sure that each student gets two to three rounds to go through this game.